Today I will show you how to submit an electronic thesis or dissertation in the Vireo ETD submission system. I will be working in Vireo 3.0 in the Texas Digital Libraries training site. Typically, you will be sent an email by your graduate office containing the link to submit your thesis or dissertation. To start a new submission, log in with your school account and ID. Click the Start a New Submission button to begin a new submission or, if you have already started a submission, you may see a Manage View Submission button instead. After clicking on the Start Your Submission button, you will notice the five steps across the top of your screen. Verify your information, License Agreement, Document Information, Upload Your Files, and Confirm and Submit. You will begin by filling in your personal information. Depending on your graduate school setup, you may see slightly different fields. As you begin filling in your personal information, note that fields beginning with an asterisk are mandatory. In this example, this includes first and last name, as well as email address. The yellow sticky notes on the side of the page offer additional information. If you are registered for an ORCID ID, you will enter it here. ORCID IDs provide a persistent digital identifier that distinguishes you from every other researcher, and through integration in key research workflows, such as manuscript and grant submission, supports automated linkages between you and your professional activities, ensuring that your work is recognized. After entering your personal information, scroll down to Affiliation. Here, you will choose your affiliation from the drop-down menu next to each field. The small eye icon next to certain fields tells you what type of information is required. If for some reason you do not see your department, degree, or major as an option in the drop-down menu, then you will need to contact your local graduate office. Next, you will need to enter your permanent phone number, your permanent address, and your permanent email address. Entering your current phone number or your current address are optional. After filling in all of the required information in Step 1, click Save and Continue to move on to the next step in the submission process. The next step in the submission process is accepting the license agreement. You must agree to the license in order to continue with your submission. Carefully read through the license agreement then click this box to agree. Depending on setup, you may be asked to agree to the UMI publication license. The UMI license agreement is optional for most schools. Read the license carefully to determine if you would like to participate. Check this box to participate, or if not, click Save and Continue to move on to the next step. The next step in the submission process is to fill in the document information for your thesis or dissertation. Again, fields with an asterisk next to them indicate that they are required. Begin with the title of your thesis or dissertation and work your way down the list. When you arrive at the document abstract, be sure to type the abstract directly into the text box. Do not copy and paste from the document as this may introduce formatting errors. After completing the document info, continue on to the Year Committee section. Here you will need to enter the first and last names as well as the roles of all of your committee members. If you need to add additional members, click the Add Additional Members button at the bottom of this section. Underneath the Year Committee section, you will need to enter your committee contact email. When you have completed your committee info, you will see the next section titled Previously Published Material. Read this carefully and determine if any of the material being submitted has been previously published. If so, check the box and then identify the published material in the text box that appears. The last section in Step 3 is deciding which embargo option applies to your thesis or dissertation. You may have the option to place a temporary or permanent embargo upon publication of your thesis or dissertation. 
depending on your institution's policies. Select the Embargo option, or No Embargo, and then click Save and Continue. If you have questions about which Embargo option to select, contact your faculty advisor or graduate office. Step 4 in the submission process is where you will upload the PDF version of your thesis or dissertation. The manuscript must be in PDF format. No other formats will be accepted. To upload your file, click the Browse button, and then select the file you want to upload. The primary file must not exceed 512 megabytes, or it will not be accepted by the system. After you have selected the appropriate file, click Upload. The document will then be uploaded to the system and renamed with your last name, the type of document, and the year you will be graduating. If you make a mistake and choose the wrong file, simply click the Replace Manuscript button to upload the correct file. If you need to upload additional files, such as videos or datasets, Scroll down to the Upload Additional Files section and repeat the process for uploading files. If you have no additional files, or when you are finished uploading your supplemental materials, click Save and Continue to move on to the last step of the submission process. In the last step of the submission process, you need to verify that all of the submission information is correct. If you need to edit any particular section, click the Edit Your Information button at the bottom of the section. Scroll down through all of the sections, verifying that the information you have entered is correct. Then click the Confirm and Submit button. After you hit Submit, you cannot make any more changes to your thesis or dissertation without contacting your graduate office. Congratulations! You have successfully submitted your thesis or dissertation. Carefully read through any instructions on this page so that you understand what will follow after you have submitted your thesis or dissertation. If you have any questions regarding your submission or realize you have made a mistake, contact your local graduate office for help. If you want to check the status of your submission, you can always log into Vireo and click the Manage View Submission button to view the status of your thesis or dissertation. If you have questions or run into problems while submitting your thesis or dissertation, you can contact the Texas Digital Library at support at tdl.org.